welcome back to Try It Tuesday. Uh, this week we will be making a book page base. So if you stop by the library on Tuesday at 4 p.m., uh, these are the things you will find in your kit. So you will find a glass vase. There'll be different shapes, all different kinds. Uh, th this won't be placed on our clothesline, obviously. It will be on the brick wall right outside our front doors because of the glass vase. Uh, you will also find uh, some book pages. No books were harmed in the making of this project. <laughs> These were uh, books that already had missing pages or damaged covers or something of the, so of the sort. Uh, you'll find a tub of Mod Podge, a foam brush, and a length of ribbon in various colors, okay? And then at home to make this project, all you need is a pair of scissors. Uh, forgot to mention, you'll also find the uh, paper instructions for how to do your own book page face, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. This is a fun and easy project, but is a little bit messy, but in a good way. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a few of the pages and you're just going to cut them down. Um, you might want to cut them into strips about an inch wide. And then you're going to, you're also going to want to have some that are a little bit shorter. So you're going to have a variety of different lengths and sizes to cover your vase. Then all you're going to do is open up your Mod Podge. And I usually like to start on any of the curves, but there really is no wrong way to do this project. Um, you can do it any way you like. But if you start on one of the curves, I usually start with a smaller piece. You can go ahead and put the Mod Podge on one side of your paper, cover it, a very thin layer, and then start sticking it onto your vase. Okay. Go on to another piece. It's actually quite a relaxing project. I really enjoy, enjoy doing things with Mod Podge. But here we go. I would probably continue all the way around before heading to do a different direction, but like I said, there is no wrong way to do this project. Uh, however you choose to do it is the right way. Uh, because everyone's face will look completely different. So I'm going to take one of the longer pieces and I'm just going to show you here. I would probably start at the bottom so it's a nice even piece and then smooth it all the way up. Okay. And you're going to want to keep uh, adding pieces onto your vase. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I do have one that I was working on earlier that I wanted to show you. So I did all of this side here. I left this back side open so you could see what was going on inside. But hopefully you can zoom in. I got the top uh, portion as close to the edge as possible. And then the bottom as well. Might not be perfectly even, but you can't really tell when you set it down. Okay, so for this one, I just left the back open so you could see what was going on inside there. So the next step after you have it all covered is to get the Mod Podge and cover the entirety of all of the pages that you've stuck on there. So you want to do a layer on top as well. And you want to do that smoothly and evenly around the entire vase. I'm just gonna do the pages that I've stuck here. And you can do this as you go along as well, if you like. Uh, I find it easy, a little bit easier to work with it if it's uh, Mod Podge on one side. But like I said, there is no wrong way. So the layer on, of Mod Podge on top of the paper will help to create a seal and a smoother finish and it'll uh, finish off your project, okay? So you're gonna just continue to cut paper, cut book pages, and add them to your vase. And then the final step, once it's dry, make sure you wait till it's completely dry, is to get your ribbon 
and go ahead and tie a pretty bow. I'm going to turn this toward me because I can't tie a bow while facing away from me. We'll see how this comes out. So you can use this face to, oh there that came out nice You can use this face to store flowers or you can give it to a friend, a family member filled with flowers and uh, it makes a nice gift. So thanks for joining us this week. Just wanted to let you know this is our last Try It Tuesday. Uh, we will be taking a break. Hopefully you'll be able to visit us during the summer. We'll have lots of other programs at the library that we hope you'll enjoy. Um, please visit us on social media to see the list of upcoming programs. Aloha! <laughs>